If you have a ConvertKit account in a Squarespace website and you want to get your ConvertKit form added to your website, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. First, we need to create a new form, get that embed code, and then we can add it to Squarespace. If you haven't been to my channel before, welcome to Designing the Real. I am Katherine Forbes, founder, and I am here to help you turn your creativity into a professionally designed online brand. So let's get to it. I've got my ConvertKit tab open over here, and I'm already on the new form page. To get there, first obviously I logged in, then I went to Grow, Landing Pages and Forms, and I started a new form. So here we are, I'm going to click into Form rather than Landing Page, because Landing Page creates its own separate page that you would not need to add to your website. So I'm going to go to Form. And now we need to just choose the display format of this form. I always go with inline. And they have multiple different templates here for you to choose. Again, I have the one that I like and I pretty much stick to it. Um, yeah, I like to keep it simple, put it right into my website. So I go with the clear option. So you can see it's pretty blank when we get started. It's going to look pretty blank in the end, but let's rename the form, step one, and then we're going to come into settings. And then we're just going to click through these options here on the left side. So you can change this text, keep it if you want. If when you have somebody sign up for this email list, if you want the, to redirect them, Somewhere else, you can click this bullet here and put in your URL there. I'm going to keep this success message. Next up is the domain name. You don't need to touch this if you don't want to. Uh, incentive, this is usually what I just leave it. I leave the defaults here. And advanced, again, leave pretty much the defaults. If you want to add the recapture, you can do that. And then hit save. Now, I don't want to change template, but I do want to add the name. Oh, I'm going to click this plus button here. Custom field. First name. There we go. And required. And we're going to save that. Now, I'm going to click on directly on the button. And I'm going to add in my design in the row brand color there. If you don't know your hex code, go find that and then type in your hex code here. These default settings are fine with me, so I'm going to save. And that is my really simple name and email. Let's see, I want these two to switch. There we go. Name and email subscribe form. I'm going to save that and then I'm going to hit publish. And you can see it gives us multiple options of different kind of code. For what I'm going to show you how to do in Squarespace, we're going to use HTML. So there's a long, <laughs> a lot of code here. All you have to do is click this red copy button right here. It will copy the whole thing for you. I'm going to go back over to my website page, back into edit mode. If this looks a little different than your Squarespace editor, don't be alarmed. I just have a little bit older version. I'm going to click the plus button here and we're going to find the code block. This should look the same here for you. Code, I'm going to highlight and delete the hello world code. What I like to do is a little extra step. You don't have to do this. Um, I like to center my uh, form. So I put this in so you can copy that uh, div align equals center, and then I hit command paste on my Mac, and then what I do is close that div tag. So I'm going to do this. Ah, it did it for me. Okay, and that is all you have to do to add your Squarespace form. And you can see it shows it to us down here. It puts it in a, a safe mode when you're in edit mode but you can see the preview of it down there. I'm going to save my page. And there 
we go. If you look at the live version of your website, this safe embedded scripts will not be there. But that is how you create a form in ConvertKit and add it to your Squarespace website. If you have any other questions for me about Squarespace and ConvertKit, let me know. If you are new to ConvertKit and thinking about signing up, I do have a code for you that will get you in for free to get started. So check that out below this video. And otherwise, I also have a free website branding worksheet and video guide you can check out at designingtherow.com slash YouTube. But that is all I have for you in this video. Drop your questions in the comments and I will see you in the next one.